I'm Jen Wright. I work at Magellan Healthcare. I've been uh, there for actually just about uh, two and a half years now. I'm um, the Director of Experience Analytics and been managing the customer experience program um, uh, there and helping to lead a digital transformation and a customer experience transformation for Magellan. Um, modernizing their customer experience program and their customer experience uh, data collection methodologies for um, for the organization. Um, and uh, before that, I worked in voice of the customer for the federal government. And in uh, before that, um, came from mortgage, where I was doing customer experience design uh, work, and along with a whole host of other kind of odd jobs. Uh, in mortgage servicing. I'm actually finding an increased appetite uh, for the data, and I think a lot of that is not necessarily, well, some of it is because I work in healthcare and it's COVID uh, time out in, out in the world and people want to know whether the interventions that we're, that we're delivering are, are, being, are effective or are helping with the, the crisis. Um, but part of it is, I think as well, that the more we're able to mine the existing data we have, the more that we're demonstrating and, um, that, that there's actually data available to us that we haven't really been capitalizing on. So the more that we actually demonstrate that, the more people see that there's, there's value here that we aren't taking advantage of. And so we're kind of creating that enthusiasm, creating enthusiasm and interest. Um, and we're kind of starting, we're start, starting to see a snowball effect. And so as we've been doing that at Magellan, we're um, starting to build a little bit more, um, a, a little bit more excitement around uh, the customer exi customer experience um, uh, internally, and it's been really exciting to be a part of it. I think too, our our internal customer service personnel are a, a wealth of information, and I don't think they're used enough. Frankly, um, they sit on calls as part of their job. They know what customers ask about. They know um, pro common problems that are reported. There, there's an opportunity there to, as much as people don't like to take them off the phones, take them off the phones and ask them, what are things that you hear that you could find uh, that, that we aren't addressing with our current business processes? And there are ways that we could get information about our customers by asking our own employees. Um, you know, I know that there are, there are opportunities for basically merging the employee and customer experiences by just talking to our employees and saying, how can we make both our employee experience better and our customer experience better by just asking our employees, how do we serve our customers better? To be honest, you know, they take, they take so much crap from our, our upset customers to get a sense that, uh, to give them a sense that we, we want to make that better for them um, would almost certainly get us a lot of points on our employee engagement surveys too. So I think that there's, there's value there from a couple perspectives and that we want to demonstrate that the people on the phones are, are valued employees and we want to make their experience better the same way that we want to make the, the customer's experience better. Um, and the, the cases where I have had an opportunity to read um, employee engagement survey responses from the frontline um, workers, that's something that they relay, that they don't want to tell customers, no, I can't help you, or, you know, they, they want to be able to help as much as possible, and they, to the extent we can enable that by learning what problems are still not solved in our call centers or um, on our web chat, I think we can, we can kind of kill two birds with one stone. So that's another data source that I think we can, and in CX, continue to mine without having to, you know, run additional surveys or go to our customers again, because that data is already there. It's already been created. We just, by listening to our calls or even just talking to employees um, kind of informally, we just need to kind of think it a little different, think a little differently about um, how to get the data. One of the things that I've seen in a number of survey responses is just that uh, this continuing um, this continuing theme that customers feel like there's no point in submitting surveys because the survey just goes into a black hole. It goes to a point where they feel like they're just they're talking into a vacuum. And so when we see the response rates going down, we know why they're going down. There's no question why they're going down. Uh, they're going down because any survey they do is going to go into nothing. And then they're getting and people are getting dozens, if not more than that, 
of surveys into their inbox, which is already full of a bunch of other marketing material um, every day. So why should they bother to fill out one more survey that's not going to make a difference anyway? So um, if we stood out in their inbox to be the one provider that did actually do something with their data, then maybe we would actually have a chance of getting that survey returned. Um, we have to become more creative in using the data we have to understand the customer experience and not just relying on continually reaching out to customers or uh, to understand the, the customer experience. We have to start looking in at existing data sources and mining that for um, the, the understanding of customer experience. So the more we understand data, understand analytics, and understand uh, data science concepts, the more capable we'll be at doing that. I, I, I think it helped give me the job at Magellan. I think it was a, a nice credential to have. Um, uh, I, it, it kind of makes me feel a little bit more, um, just personally gives me a little bit more of a feeling of assurance that I have kind of made it to a certain point where Yes, it demonstrates that I have a little bit more of authority in the field, and so when I'm talking to people at the organization, I can demonstrate to, especially at the senior level, I can demonstrate to them, yes, I do know what I'm talking about. Um, I represent, um, you know, a, a certain level of expertise as part of the customer experience profession, and um, that is demonstrated by the fact that I have this credential, and I am, um, you know, part of a, a relatively small number of professionals who, ha who share that credential. Um, but, uh, uh, and not that I have any intention of leaving Magellan, but I think that has also garnered a lot of interest from recruiters who contact me pretty regularly based on the fact that I have this credential. Um, and there's uh, a, very, a fairly limited number of us in the St. Louis metro area. So um, I do think it's an attractive credential and it uh, demonstrates that, uh, you know, I have a pretty valuable skill set. You can learn more about partnering levels, trust dynamics, and smoothing silos and related topics in the Clear Action Value Exchange. This is an example of a solve space, an interactive template. The Clear Action Value Exchange shows customer intelligence stewards how to influence organizational agility, internal and external alignment, and stakeholder accountability at the interpersonal, department, and enterprise levels. An array of formats makes it easy to pop in and find nuggets of wisdom to elevate performance that will increase ease of doing business and ease of work. Join us today in the Clear Action Value Exchange.